Aloha Cancer, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your mid-February love story. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please do like, share, subscribe, hit that bell button, leave me a comment. All of those things help my channel to grow and expand, and I very much appreciate that. For a private reading with me personally or an energy alignment session, go to my website, www.thewhisperingdragonfly.com. This is Stephanie with The Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your mid-February love story. Okay, so this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're just kind of cleansing the space right now, um, giving myself a chance to uh, get in the groove here. Okay, so this reading will go from uh, mid-February to mid-march okay so we're just gonna see what's going on in love for you cancer i will say as a collective energy we are right now in mercury rec mercury retrograde <laughs> until the 20th and then um as of new moon there are six planets in aquarius so um when this happens there is a um great deal of change that is happening um, we're reevaluating, especially with this retrograde, we're reevaluating our systems. We're reevaluating our um, ways of doing things, our relationships, who's in our inner circles, who's not, how do we um, show up in the world. So we're approaching things from um, an intellectual standpoint at the same time, uh, meshing the head with the heart, okay? So that's general collective energy for all signs. And then let's just see what we've got in in love and romance for Cancer. Um, and I think I did say Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Okay, let's get a Whispers of Love card. What I'm going to do is just get all of the oracles shuffled and pulled here. And then we'll move into the reading part of it. All right, thank you for Cancer. Um, I do read intuitively and I um, sometimes spirit gives me information or very specific um, kind of uh, messages and um, so if I say those and they don't resonate with you that's okay I'm reading for a large group of people so um, take what resonates with you and leave the rest and um, if one of those pieces that does come through from spirit resonates with you that's just an indication to pay close attention to what's being said cancer because there's um, a message there for you okay all right so they gave you a lot of cards <laughs> keep trying to do just one of each one so we're using the um, tamed Tamed Wild, Wild Crystals deck um, for your oracles, the Whispers of Love deck, the Wisdom of the Oracle, and the Lover's Oracle for um, your oracle cards. And then we'll clarify with Tarot. Um, what do I have here? The Tarot of Wonderland, which is an Alice in Wonderland deck that's amazing, and the Good Tarot from Colette Baron Reed um, to clarify. Okay, so let's get to it. We have Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye is, is the all-seeing eye. It's a prosperity stone. Um, it's said to bring prosperity and luck. It's also a balancing stone. It's commonly tuned for those dealing with addictions and leading a fast-paced life. It regulates the energy and calms when needed as a protection stone. It is often placed in the home or carried as a protective shield from negative energy and people. Okay, uh, Aquarius also got Tiger's Eye as their crystal for the reading. So if you have Aquarian um, placements or the person that um, you have in mind that made you kind of click on this video to find out about your love life. Um, if they're an Aquarian, then there is just extra information there for you. So I feel like the general energy, um, first off, in starting your reading, the general energy that I'm feeling is there's a lot going on. So there's a lot of energy around my head and heart. And it's sort of like, okay, um, how do I start this? Okay, which way do I go first? So I feel like um, you maybe have been pretty busy, Cancer, in both your love and business arenas. So it's sort of like um, 
your life has just kind of been a bit of a whirlwind lately. So what they're showing me is sort of this like whirlwind of change. So um, in between times of um, busyness, there's also times of rest. Okay. Uh, where, how, where would you like me to start these cards? Okay. So we're going to start with your um, lover's oracle cards. Four cards came out. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to look at them and see what happens. Okay. So this is the first card. It says, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Okay. I think that's the confusion and the um, whirlwind energy that I'm feeling. So you may have had certain events that have happened recently. Um, could be pertaining to love, but I just feel like it, it's overall life events, Cancer, that you're um, moving through. So you're gonna, there'll be a revealing very soon of a blessing, um, that the higher purpose of why you're going through all of these changes. Um, as a collective, we're changing, but if you have strong Aquarian placements in your chart, Cancer, you're gonna be um, more affected with that. We have Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they'll manifest physically. Okay. We have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. I feel like I think Pisces got those cards. And then we have this card. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Oh. Cancer, I feel like um, you, um, some of you clicked on this reading for someone that's already on your mind, that's already your soulmate, um, even those who haven't found their soulmate yet or are looking for new love, um, this message is from that soulmate, okay? So they are, Spirit saying your path is completely clear. I feel like you're about to understand why certain things didn't work out for you in love and romance previously because there's this soulmate for you that is really um like really in love with you you may or may not have met them yet but it's that vibrational match that you've been asking for so spirit showing me cancer that you've been asking for a higher love okay a, a love that um, has a higher purpose or, or more spiritual love more fulfilling love. Um, I feel like Cancer, you guys really, you know, you're a water sign, so you have strong emotions and you're really one to, um, once you love someone, you love with your whole heart, but I feel like sometimes you hide at the beginning. Okay. And this is saying this person is going to be a soulmate that really, um, loves you all the way and this is one they're saying like this is one that is like that long term or the one um type of thing i feel like you might have had someone previously cancer that you thought was the one for you um and since you do love all the way i feel like um you've been healing from that um but there is love here for you um, if you want it, okay? Because it's, it's showing the clear path. You're free to choose here. Some of you may have more than one option, and we'll clarify that with the tarot. But let's get into this. Okay, so we have um, deep knowing. Okay, we see this. It's got an owl on there. I love owls, if that's uh, for you, it's a number 43, which leads to a seven. Seven is um, the number of truth, psychic, seeing. Um, you have a deep knowing. I feel like some of you already know this person. Uh, some of you that have clicked on this video, you have someone in mind that um, is that soulmate energy. Could be as far as... Um, you know what people could term twin flames but i feel like okay so twin flame if this is back and forth and abusive and toxic that's not your twin flame okay so this is um this is a, a different scenario okay this is very healthy um very loving very much um, some of you may be in separation right now 
that there's a shift that's happening. There's a deep knowing. You know the one. Some of you, they're also showing me dream time. So those of you who haven't met the one yet, Cancer, pay attention to your dreams because I feel like you're communicating with this person. This is the first um, reading that an actual message from your person came through. Look at the artwork here. Um, and so that's just information for you. A first time that an actual message from the person themselves um, is coming through. So it's closer than you think. We have milk and honey here. And this card's really funny. If you look all the way there, there's a little um, elephant <laughs> that's just playing around in that bowl. Super good luck. 51, which leads to a six. Six is um, the number of love, relationships, balance. Um, the five number of change, the one, the number of building. So you have been building a new life for yourself. Spirit's acknowledging cancer that you've been going through a great amount of changes. You've been focusing on yourself, like all aspects, mind, body, spirit. And they're really um, showing me a round of applause. So they're applauding you for um, really focusing on yourself at this time. I feel like cancer, you guys, like, like I said, you go all in. And so next card up is serendipity so i feel like all of this work and things that you have been doing is leading to this moment of serendipity um so if you've already met this this soulmate or you were in relation with them before and you're in separation it's like um they're showing me something that happened to me so i just um happened to go out to dinner with a friend and then um you know my person of interest at the time I hadn't talked to them for months or seen them showed up and this was a restaurant I'd never been to before you know so uh, those kind of serendipity moments right so spirit is placing you in the right place at right time to interact meet or um, reconcile is not the word but you know to come back together with um, your person so either meeting them for the first time or um, coming back together so this is like um, true serendipity I feel like the hands of fate are um, stepping in so that you can be at the right place at the right time okay this is saying express love through gifts okay so you might be exchanging gifts um, this is being um, recorded on Valentine's Day so those of you who um, might are already coupled um, or know this person, you might be exchanging gifts together. Um, this is also saying like, think of little um, gifts and trinkets. Cancer, if you have somebody that's soulmate that, that um, you want to reach out to, okay, reach out to them with a gift. Okay, come, come bearing gifts, because you might be the one to step forward. I feel like this energy is coming towards you but some of you may be the ones that are actually um, uh, reaching out and and giving the um, uh, the serendipitous meeting. Okay, once you get that deep knowing, I feel like some of you are going to be the active part. Um, but for the most that are watching it, the energy feels like it's coming towards you. Okay, and this is listen to your heart. You are listening but need to hear with a loving heart, okay? So for those of you that you have someone coming back in from the past, maybe you separated for um, a specific reason, and they're really asking you to listen with your heart, Cancer, to, um, you know, not just cut them off because you feel hurt from the previous manifestation. Allow the energy to be new, okay? We have the past. Spirit for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get the Tarot story. Really find out what's going on. So we're just gonna shuffle these and see where we. There we go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. How do you want to proceed? Like this. Okay. So, recent past, we have the Hermit in the reverse, okay? Um, Hermit's the card of Virgo, 
um, in the reverse, I feel like you um, didn't want to go solo, okay? So whether you've been single for a long time or there was a recent separation, um, I feel like there was um, a resistance to doing the hermit's journey. The hermit's journey is going up on the mountain, um, being solo for a time, learning how to, um, uh, learning the, the messages from spirit, and then coming forward, the traditional one has the hermit with the light. So this is the person that's like got the information and they're gonna shine that light onto the world, okay? Um, this one reverse was saying that you kind of were in resistance to um, doing the hermit's journey. I feel like you um, very much want it to be in that loving relationship. Um, but there was there was things that you needed to learn and I feel like that's what has cleared up the path. You did it because we have the freedom card here. Um, so we have recent past is death. This is a uh, Scorpio. So you've gone through um, a process cancer recently in your love and relationships of um, the death and rebirth cycle okay this may have to do with a king of wands so fire sign Aries Leo Sag doesn't matter if it's male or female this is a person who's very charismatic um, very fiery quite attractive very very intelligent um, and um, action oriented so I feel like you felt like you could have everything with them okay and um, and then something something changed essentially so um, what they're saying is you're going through this process of um, this also they're showing me a pattern cancer I feel like you have a pattern of um, being very attracted to these charismatic kinds but it's almost like um, you've been burned by those people before, just kind of that rushing in, rushing out energy um, without having that long-term or long-standing comfort that you really enjoy. Um, and so this death cycle, I feel like you're putting a death to old pattern um, because what's coming in for you is this beautiful deep knowing and the milk and honey, like it's, it is that, um, that beautiful situation okay um, I feel like in the now we have six of cups with the Empress reversed and ten of swords okay so um, I feel like in the right now especially with it being uh, this is being filmed on Valentine's Day those of you that are single I feel like you're in a bit of nostalgia you're thinking about someone from the past possibly this soulmate possibly someone else but with the Emperor reversed and the Ten of Swords, I feel like you um, are looking or focusing in the moment on the the things that kind of um, hurt you or that feeling of stabbed in the back. The Empress reversed is kind of like a, a disempowered energy. Okay, so um, you're seeing things from a really interesting way. Okay. Um, so spirit's saying let's change that perspective a little bit okay look at the milk and honey uh let's see if it'll focus see the elephant and then on your six of cups here you've got an elephant with wings up top there okay and so elephants um cut through obstacles um they're wise they learn from the past so i feel like as you're reflecting right now on the mercury retrograde a lot of times um the six of cups like the people from the past do return I don't feel like you've had communication with them yet okay um, those of you who are separated I feel like you are really trying to um, almost this is showing like in the recent past and even right now like you're trying to get your mojo back okay I feel like some of you may have even been depressed um, because we've got this um, Empress reverse and, she, and upright Empress is full of fertility she is like Mother Gaia she's the nurturer she's the one who um, it had I mean it's just a beautiful beautiful card and I feel like that's who you are male or female matters not 
you have um, that's who you are generally but it's like um, with spirits the they're using the word like I'm all up in my feels okay so with whichever person this is that you're in your feels about there was this ten of swords kind of situation okay and we'll clarify that that further but I feel like in the right now you're just trying to get your um, power back again your first card out of the deck said you may not always understand why certain things happen however there's a higher purpose so it may be someone that you're they're using the word longing or yearning for from the past that um, there's a reason why they left okay near future we have the tower um, we have the five of Pentacles okay and then we have three of cups and I want to just clarify these cards a little bit more. Okay, show me why the tower's here. Thank you. Five of Pentacles. Okay. And then this Three of Cups, why is that here? Thank you. Okay. Three of Cups and Three of Wands. All right. And. Yeah, this person there may have been like a third party situation previously. Um, and I feel like a tower moment that's coming, we have Ace of Cups, is that um, this serendipity that happens that comes in, um, I feel like you're going to hear from this person, okay, that it's going to be shocking and almost a surprise, but it's going to change things. I feel like a truth is being revealed. We have Five of Pentacles here where um, I feel like they're going to explain what the loss was. They're going to explain what their journey was, what they've had to do, what they have been building. Um, because I feel like in right now, your person that's asking for you, that's saying that they're thinking of you, um, this three of, they want this three of cups. They want this celebration. I feel like in the past, there may have been a third party situation. If there was cheating or a third party um, you'll know about it, okay? So they're not going to be telling you, so that's not the surprise, they're not going to be telling you anything that you don't know, okay? So if that is what happened, you already know and that might be why you're not speaking. Um, but I do feel like there were some secrets that this person kept from you. Um, and I feel like we have King of Cups in the reverse, so I feel like this person um, is trying to master their emotions okay they want to go on this journey with you we've got three of wands they want to like um set sail on this new journey with you they want to have this three of cups celebration kind of moment because we also have the two of cups that came out here so they really want to give you this cup of love um and they're just trying to figure out their emotions so that they can come towards you i feel like they um at times have been a little bit immature in their emotions and they know um, they know that they maybe didn't respond correctly I don't feel like they did anything so crazy but there um, I feel like there was an intense emotionality um, on both sides like I feel like you both really cared for one another and the way that they left or just stopped talking to you like I feel like that maybe they ghosted you or there was just like no closure but um, at the same time, I feel like Cancer, you're not expecting them to come forward. And they're gonna come forward and shake things up. They're gonna offer you their cup of love. They really do wanna be back. That Two of Cups is that kissy face. Everybody's uh, together. They wanna be back with you physically and otherwise, but um, they know they messed up in the past. Okay, let's ask some, so, um, you know, what? what is their intention with, cancer here knight of swords they want to come in swiftly give you communication they want to give you um their heart that cup of love okay the swords are truth okay yeah the swords are truth and we got six of wands followed by seven of wands so what's they really want to come in they want to be victorious with you um they want to overcome conflict. They want to overcome um, the situations of the past where you felt abandoned or lost or, or lonely. I feel like this person um, 
may have made you feel abandoned cancer and um, they want to make it right okay they want to have victory with you they want to have this be victorious in um, not only offering the love but being that two of cups partner with you okay so they really want to um, to see this come to fruition with you okay let's see here they're just working up their courage and trying to figure, I feel like they're growing. Yeah, we have um, Eight of Swords here. So they're walking away from that overthinking. I feel like they've been, um, your person's been in their head. And you've been in your head too over this. But they know um, this is more so like the prison of their mind. Because I feel like in this situation, you do want them back. Now, if you don't, then that's not for you, okay? But for those that I'm talking to, I feel like you want to reconcile with this person, this soulmate. Um, and you love them too. I feel like both of you have been in your head, like in a prison of your own mind. Um, but you both have this deep knowing. You know that you're the one for each other, Cancer. Okay? You know that. All right, let's see right now. What can change the energy of the right now, the nostalgia. What can Cancer do to change this energy and get out, get their mojo back? Ace of Fire. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning. Okay, and this starts with you. This passionate new beginning, not only is this tower moment going to kind of bring your mojo back, but I feel like the um, Spirit's asking you to get some hobbies, get some things, have a passionate new beginning. Um, find something to be passionate about okay um, this may be a craft this may be a workout this might be dancing okay so find something that you like to do cancer and go do it that might also lead to um, the serendipity yeah we have six of earth lots of balance wanting to come in for you that's six of pentacles this is balance this is having um, your money together, six is the number of love, and pentacles um, are the long term. Okay, what's this tower moment for Cancer? What's this tower moment bringing in? Expand on that, please. Oh, oh that's a lot. Okay, too many. Thank you. Okay, these guys. Let me just see if they have anything else to say about them coming in. I just feel like your person's going to come in. It's going to kind of rock your world. But it's going to be serendipity. Like, it's just going to feel like kismet. But it is a life-changing situation. Yeah, we have Page of Earth. Okay. So, there's um, this person. You know, really does want to give you their heart and soul there is going to be communication and and be patient with this person um because the communication may come in kind of innocently or they might not be really talking about much they're just really trying to get their courage up to come forward and figure out how to give cancer this offer of love so you know um their communication it's it may not be this Oh, Cancer, I'm so in love with you. I have to do this. I feel like they're really just trying to get their courage up to speak to you at all. So it may be, um, at first, a little bit of a... A little bit of a... Um, slower process, okay? Um, they'll come in with swift communication. So I feel like there's a shock, surprise, the, the fact that they're communicating with you. Um, it may take some time for them to work up with their emotions to be able to express those fully to you, okay? Um, but they are coming in to communicate with you and to offer you their love because you got number six. You got love. <laughs> Again, another six. Do we have three? We do. Perfect. Yeah, so triple sixes. And I know sometimes people think that's bad. Six is... The um, triple six is the card of the human and manifestation on earth. It's the card of balance. 
That's the card of love. Okay. Romance. That opening. I feel like Cancer, you guys all, um, all are opening your heart. What's the outcome for Cancer with this situation? And if you guys are coupled or otherwise, sorry, this, this story is pretty well staying with um, the soulmates here. There's that are wanting to come back together or you're going to um, meet your person. If you haven't met them before, you're going to feel like you've known them always. Okay, so it doesn't feel like this person's going to seem unfamiliar. Um, so even if you haven't met them, it's, it's like because they're your soulmate, you're going to know. Yeah, and then we have strength here. Okay, so we have the love and the strength. You're taming the beast. Gentle control of yourself. Okay, gentle touch. Um, eights, infinity, card of the self. So you're giving yourself some self-love right now. Yeah, another three of wands. Okay. Beautiful new journey is unfolding for you guys. And it said, look at the bottom. Messenger of water. This person is coming in to share their emotions with you. Now be patient with them. They may not be very good at sharing their emotions, okay? Um, but they're going to they're going to come forward. They want to give you this cup of love, and they're really working up their courage and and their know how of how to go on this journey with you. I feel like they had mixed emotions previously. Like I said, some of you there was a third party situation. Um, but all in all, Cancer, they really want to um, come forward, give you their cup of love. And I feel like it's going to be a shock and a surprise that changes your life. Uh, spirit said timing. Okay. Pick a card here. Spirit timing on this. Ten on this. Okay. So this one. So 29. And it's also the card called Breathe. So it could be the 29th. Uh, 9 also reduces to 11. Um, so this could be the 11th month, 11 days, um, 29th. Um, and then what else do we have here? Oh, is this here a leap year? I don't know if it is. Check that out. If it's a leap year, that's going to be significant because we'll have a 29th day for February. So if it is leap year, that's significant. That's this, this shock and awe that's here. Okay. So yeah, um, it could be February. We also have the ninth month here or the 11th month. So this could be, um, uh, or 11 weeks, which would also be two months, but they're really showing leap year. Yeah. Check that out. I'll have to look. I don't know if it's, um, a leap year or not this year but they're showing um, they're showing leap year that's important okay so the 29th okay I'm asking if there's anything else <laughs> just looking nope they said wrap it up yeah so um, expect the unexpected cancer um, because you definitely have a, a serendipitous surprise that's coming in and this beloved soulmate is really thinking of you. They said to read this again. A message for you, Cancer. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Okay? So until next time, Cancer, aloha.